Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kitty as always. Welcome back to a new video. So excuse the bare face. I know some of y'all are gonna be like, oh, she looks a little ugly right now, but I think I look beautiful. I got my lashes done yesterday and I think they look so, so cute. Shout out to Roxy. As you can see by the title of this video, yes, it is confirmed, it is official. I am going to be getting a breast augmentation surgery. <laughs> I can't like it's so even so surreal that I'm saying those words I feel like it's still so surreal like I just cannot believe it oh my god so we are in June of 2021 and I started getting interested into actually getting like a breast augmentation surgery about a year ago like it's been so long it's crazy because dr tanasia actually reached out to me and he dm'd me on instagram trying to work together and like you know do the surgery and at the time i'm pretty sure you guys can see my little boy in the back at the time my little boy was um about four or five months old my little boy was still really little and he was always strictly breastfed so I told um, Dr. Tanasia that I wasn't able to do it yet because I was breastfeeding and obviously I know that you can't get surgery if you're breastfeeding. And so I told him to just hold on on it and um, that I would reach out to him again once I was done breastfeeding. I stopped breastfeeding when Liam was a year old because I just had enough already and I was like, okay, I think a year of breastfeeding is enough. Cause he was strictly breastfed. Like he didn't take no formula, no nothing. When he was a year, I finally stopped. And of course I immediately went and reached out to Dr. Tanasia again and told him that I was done breastfeeding and that I was uh, ready for surgery. And so then we hopped on a phone call. He called me, which I was super excited for because I was like, whoa, he's calling my cell phone. We just spoke about it and we basically discussed like pricing and how um, I would have to travel out there obviously because he is in LA um, and I live in Dallas, Texas. So we were just discussing how I had to travel out there to do it, how he's booked ahead like so far and um, and like what kind of implants I was gonna get and just like all that all that stuff. So then after that, I immediately went and um, deposited my deposit for the surgery. And whenever you give your deposit for your surgery, then you can book um, the date of your surgery. Otherwise, you can't really choose a date unless you like give that deposit. And so that's what I did. And I still had to wait. I don't really remember. It's like pretty unclear to me right now because I have a really bad memory. But um, it was at least like at least six months that I had to wait for my surgery. And it's so crazy because now it's only two weeks away. <gasps> oh my God. It's so crazy. So, um, for those of you wondering, like, why do you want to get surgery? Like, you look perfectly fine. You're so beautiful naturally. Like, this, this, and that. Trust me, I completely agree with you guys. I know I'm beautiful inside and out. I know I look totally fine without boobs. Like, I know that I don't need them. But this is something that I've wanted, like, literally my whole life. Okay, I'm not going to say whole life because as a little girl, like, you don't think about things like that. But when you start growing up a little bit, like in middle school, high school, like you start noticing, like if you do end up with small, smaller breasts, um, you start noticing that they're not growing like as much as you want them to or like as fast as you want them to, I guess. So basically, I've always been small chested. Um, and so I always just had the idea in the back of my mind that I always wanted to get um, a breast augmentation surgery. But then when I had my baby and I was breastfeeding, um, for those of you that don't have kids, those of you that do have kids, you know this, but those of you that don't have kids, whenever you breastfeed, your boobs get like super, super big because they get full of milk and it literally looks like you got a boob job when you have milk in your breast. And so like, I got to see how big my boobs could like, could be, like could really be. And so after you're done breastfeeding, basically like it goes away because they basically dry out and you no longer have any milk. And so obviously like your boobs aren't gonna stay big 
but when you do breastfeed you're able to see like how big your boobs can really be and i have a lot of pictures and videos from whenever um i was breastfeeding and like how big they were so i'll actually put some in here so y'all can see like they were like a little bit bigger so here they are And dude, my boobs, I look like I have a boob job because they're so full of milk. I haven't breastfed the baby like the whole day. So like, they look so big. <laughs> So yeah, that is what they looked like. Obviously they weren't like super huge, but they were like way bigger than what I was used to my whole life. Um, and once I stopped breastfeeding, I saw how small they got. And I'm not even gonna lie, my boobs got way smaller than before I had a baby. Like, does that make sense to you guys? So if they were small before a baby, after breastfeeding, they were even smaller than like how they originally were and so i was like what the heck like i don't like this so um like if i have the chance to go get an augmentation like i'm gonna take it i'm the kind of person that like i'm gonna take every opportunity that life throws at me no matter how old i am and i feel anyways like i am at a, at a very good age that like i could go get it like i'm 23 i think that's a really good age to actually go and get a boob job you know like i'm not too young i'm not too old because i feel like if i was way older and i got them like i don't want to seem desperate either or something you know like i don't know i don't know how to explain it but i just feel like everything is going perfectly and the timing is very right and i'm just so beyond excited everything is ready to go the flight is booked the hotel is booked everything's ready so yeah i was gonna make this more like of a q a type of video but i just felt like sitting down and just like explaining everything to you guys really quick because everybody on if you follow me on instagram everybody on instagram already knows that i'm gonna get it but if you only follow me on youtube if you're only subscribed to my youtube channel then i haven't really confirmed it to you guys that i'm actually gonna go and get um surgery and it's already coming up in two weeks so yeah i was like might as well do it real quick upload it super quick and then so everybody can be informed not just the people on my instagram so yeah there's my little boy in the back if you guys don't know him his name is liam jacob he's my whole world he's the love of my life say hi ba i'll show you guys liam liam jacob hi oh hi <laughs> he's waving <laughs> He's actually a year and four months old, um, and he's just the freaking cutest. He's talking to y'all. <laughs> so yeah, if you aren't already following me on my Instagram, I am the most active on Instagram. I am literally on it every single day. My Instagram is at kittyboo with three underscores at the end. I do respond to my messages, and if you guys have any questions, you can DM me. Um, you can leave me a comment down below and I'll answer it. Oh, if you guys are wondering what size I'm gonna get, I already know, like, most of you are wondering what size I'm gonna get. I don't know yet. I will decide for sure, like, already being there, but I kind of have an idea. I'm not gonna get them too small because I want it to be worth it, and I don't want to regret it in the future that I should have gone bigger. So I'm not gonna get them too small, but I'm obviously not gonna get them too big. Like, I'm not gonna go huge, okay? So... Don't worry guys, I'm not gonna go extra over the top, humongous breasts, like no. Um, but I will decide like definitely what size I'm gonna get. Already being there at uh, the surgery place with Dr. Tanasia, I am so excited. Oh, also go check out Dr. Tanasia's Instagram. He has a lot of pictures with all the work that he's done. You know, breast augmentations, breast reductions, lifts, tummy tucks, BBLs um rhinoplasty he does it all so he is amazing but obviously he is the master of boobies so i am just so beyond excited that i get to get my surgery with him i'm so happy yeah i'm done talking i'm done rambling and um make sure that you subscribe to my channel turn on your post notifications 
because I will be vlogging the surgery. I will be doing like um, after videos like of the recovery process and how they are turning out and everything. So my surgery is on July 14th. Today is June 20 something, 27, 28, I don't know. And I'm so excited. So subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye.